Hey guys, Armin Gun here today with a fun video. This is actually, this should be an especially fun video because this is an expansion pack video. A weapon expansion pack has arrived at the armory or the arsenal, whichever you prefer. I guess technically speaking, we're in an armory and this is the armory's arsenal. So whatever, that doesn't matter. The new weapons do. So by way of this video, I will introduce them all to the channel for you guys and you can expect to see them and uh, many others coming very soon. We're gonna have probably a weapon expansion pack video once a month. Um, this will be a, always a longer form video, probably once a month for the next few months because man, I did a lot of things last year and they are finally coming to fruition. Like over the next 12 to 18 months, you can probably expect to see about 75 new guns on this channel, which is close to double what we have now. So I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, you guys should be too, because there's a lot of really cool stuff and it's gonna let us do a lot of really cool content. Also a bit of housekeeping, this Galotech wall system has been uh, the AK wall. And again, not everything is AK, especially not that AR, but it's housed by AK-ish guns for too long now. We need a change. We'll wipe it clean and she'll feature the newest guns that are here on the channel. And I guess there's a quick sneak peek. Boom, there you go. Those are basically the new guns. Alrighty guys, first things first, let's wipe that wall clean and start fresh. Before we start building the wall, guys, this video is sponsored by Mira Safety, so a big thank you to them. I have an affiliate link in the description below. It takes you to their site. They make tons of gas mask respirators, really cool stuff. And honestly, given the times we're in, it might not be a bad idea to uh, check out what they have. I've definitely got some of their stuff coming my way. We're kicking things off with the Galil, the one in the thumbnail. This is a 5.56 ARM. ARM stands for automatic machine gun, I think. It's a light machine gun variant with the bipod. This does of course have the famed bottle cap opener, which the clever Israelis integrated after I guess too many soldiers wrecked magazine feed lips from using those guys to pop a top. These were kind of the Israelis answer to the AK. They did a couple improvements, which are really cool. We've also got this safety selector right there. We're clear. This upswept charging handle is pretty cool. That way you can come around the top rather than typical AKs. You gotta come underneath like this and hook it which not gonna lie, is kind of satisfying, or roll it pretty good and come over the top. The upswept is just a bit better because you can just keep it gun straight and still come right over the top. And it's still lefty friendly. All in all, super cool and definitely has a place on the wall. And the other one for the thumbnail, something a little different, a tactical ax. This is a half breed blades design from down under. Shout out to Vantage Co for bringing this gap to me, but look at this, man. Absolutely digging this thing. Alrighty guys, this is the Brens Stens and AR Tens edition. These things are ridiculously cool. These are OGs. These are Armalite marked, made by AI in the Netherlands. These are pretty incredibly rare and these are actually in quite nice shape for what you typically find them in. This is the earlier Sudanese contract style. Actually, there was a Cuban contract that preceded these, but uh, those were super rare. But my buddy Richard, the real deal movie arms, happens to have one. And this is the later Portuguese contract version with all of the upgrades. Man, what a cool gun. A lot of people don't consider this was actually a Cold War era battle rifle. These also had super unique waffle pattern AR mags. They're unique to these guns and they are really cool. I should have some in next week. And kind of cool, we've actually got a name carved into the stock and some other stuff as well. So really cool, more on these guys coming soon. Now we got the Bren, holy cow, this gun is, this gun is crazy. It's also a really weird version. And uh, actually we can uh, do this, turn that carry handle into something of a vertical forward grip, angled <laughs> for her grip, I guess. And I can hold this thing a little bit better. This was the light machine gun used by most of the allies in World War II, man. What a cool gun. And Inglis in Canada also manufactured these and they happened to make a bunch for China. This was a Chinese contract and these were actually chambered in eight millimeter Mauser instead of the more typical 303 British. Guys, the manufacturing quality in those things is just crazy. The amount of effort and machining that went into them is just, man, such beautiful, smooth firearms. Then we have this little guy, the SMG used by the Brits. This right here is a Sten. These guys are crazy simple to manufacture and they're actually decent shooters. Chambered in nine millimeter, this one is actually made in Israel. 
Israeli stamp on this piece, which actually kind of counts as a receiver. It's the only piece that's actually got a serial number on it. Everything else is, this is just a tube of steel. And some stamp parts are welded to it. It's, uh, these things are the epitome of simple guns. But hey, it was World War II, they got the job done. But nothing got the job done as stylish as the Thompson. This is another 1928 A1. And I do already have one here. This one is just a little bit nicer. Like I said, I did a lot of deals last year and uh, this one happened to overlap with another one. So, you know what? The price was right. I ended up with two of these things. And if I had to pick, this is probably my favorite version of the Thompson. There are several, and I'll be doing a full format video covering all of those when the next one gets here. Well, you saw the Galil in 5.56. They did also make them in 7.62 NATO. 308, this is a AR model and uh, all the same features. This thing is beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at these mags. 25 rounds, 308. I love the waffle pattern. These are so cool. And of course, we're clear. Oh, such smooth actions. These are milled receivers. Just beautiful. And from up top, we actually have one more of these AR-10s. This one's a little bit different though. It is the Portuguese contract, so the last style. Still Dutch made. Again, these things were made like 60 years ago, but just beautiful. Some of the guns like that right there were just so beat up and destroyed that when they came to, uh, I think they came to Britain to be surplused out. Someone there did custom furniture, this wood furniture, refinished the guns, and then they were, well, they were also taken from a machine gun and made into a converted auto semi-automatic and then sold off commercially. Guys, almost done. We have one more inside here. The name's Mond. R. Mond. And it actually is, fun fact. Personal story, my name is actually Armand. Armored Gun was kind of just me being cheeky with the name. But guys, this is a Walther PPK post-war. Just a cute little gun. This was Bond's signature gun, of course, in many of the movies. Chambered in 765 Browning or 32 ACP. This gun is just, ah. I've always wanted one and it finally came in super stoked. By the way, that's pronounced Armand like Armando without the O. Anyways, guys, there you have it. This is the new expansion pack for the Armory. Pretty excited. We're gonna do shorts of all the new guns. Again, we've done the Thompson before, but we will get the Galil, the Bren, the Sten, and those AR-10s. Let me know what you thought of this video because we're gonna do more because, like I said, there's a lot more on the way. And before you go, check out the description below. I have a bunch of discount codes down there, various affiliate links, and other channel partners. So go check them out. In some way or another, they've all helped me do what I do. Boom diggity.